Hey, welcome back. So, a couple things. First of all, we are inching in on that thousand subscriber mark. I appreciate it. Like I said, I never thought I'd have one, but now we're close to a thousand, and I appreciate every single one of you. Second thing, uh, last week I had a little problem with my AdSense account. You may notice that uh, there's been no ads on the videos. So I'm working with Google to resolve that. Um, trying to figure out what the issue is. Third thing, if you can hear water behind me, it's because where I'm sitting there's actually like a fountain behind me. And it's, it's really pretty, but in case you can hear that, that's what that is. Now this video is going to be about Webmin and installing Webmin and what, what Webmin is. So what Webmin is, is it's a piece of software that's been around for a while. Um, I've been using this thing for years and what it is is it's a GUI manager for Linux so pretty pretty much almost every almost everything that you can do from the command line you can do in a GUI with Webmin so it makes it very easy to administer Linux installations so we're gonna go ahead and install this real quick <clears throat> but I do want to point out that the URL is webmin.com, not .org. Do not go to webmin.org. You will get a website that tries to hijack your web browser. It is webmin.com. So, all right, what we've got here, we'll pull up our Linux server. Now, this is a fresh install of Ubuntu 16.0. 4.1 and you can see even though it's a fresh install I've got some packages that can be updated we'll deal with that in a minute so let's look at our downloads here and the downloads are on the left or you can go here we want the Debian so we will pull this guy up we will get our direct link here And we'll do a wget, paste this URL in there. Okay, so you can see our download is complete, but we've got this huge file name and it's really ugly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy and then type web, hit tab, it'll autocomplete, and we're just going to copy this to webmin. Uh, Dot, um, dot deb and then we're going to remove and now all we have left is our deb so now we'll do a sudo dpackage hyphen i webmin dot deb you know you could also download this to your desktop and move it over using a tool like um, filezilla or winscp But we just did it directly to the server. Okay, now you can see we've got some dependency errors, so we're going to fix those with a sudo apt-get hyphen f install. You'll see it resolved our dependency issues and it's now doing the setup. Yeah, and it looks like it's installed, so what we'll do is we'll come over here. And 10,000 is the default port, and it is, you have to have the HTTPS. And we get this because we don't have a CA cert installed. And we log in with our, our Linux user, and here it is. This is Webmin. So it gives you a really nice snapshot of what's going on with your system right here you can look at recent logins it tells us right here that there's a webmin module update available so we can just tell it to go ahead and install and that's it did that one um, you can come back over here recent 
package updates, such as a new kernel version, require a reboot to be fully applied. So we could do that. We can also see that there are seven package updates available. So we could tell it to go ahead and update. So now instead of doing all this from the from the command line, you can do it all, all right here through Webmin. And Webmin is going to play a very important role in our split DNS video, which is coming soon. There's going to be two videos. There's going to be an explanation video, and then there's going to be a setup video. But I prefer to manage bind through Webmin. It just makes it a lot easier. So this is Webmin. Download it from webmin.com, not .org. And if you like the video, give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. And I will see you at the next video.